Hey guys, welcome along. Okay, so this video, it's I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be a, a massively long video. Um, I decided to make it because it's been quite some time since I made sort of my most popular video on my channel um, to do with this piece of equipment. It's a piece of equipment that without it, I can't sim race. Um, you probably know what it is anyway by the title of the video. So I don't know why I'm being very... Um, very secretive but yeah it's about this lump of metal um i don't actually realize how heavy it is until you pick it up I mean, it's been stuck on my base for yeah well over a year um so as i said i looked at other people's videos um on youtube today and the only one i could find that was sort of a good period of time was six months and again as i said it was on pc primarily so i says i've had mine since august um 2021 so i've had mine well over a year so this is why pretty much i thought i'd do a review for somebody that say is looking to purchase one i know christmas is coming up um the black friday sales i'm not sure if they're still going on i think they are obviously i know i th think that Anatech are having issues possibly stocking this at the minute. I know a few people come on my stream and, and asked about it, which I'm sorry to say I, I can't I can't tell you yet how long's a piece of string. Um I've got nothing to do with Fanatech. So yeah. But as I said, I'm gonna give my brutally honest review, what I've found, what I like about the wheel, what I don't like about the wheel, because there is a few issues. They're not game changing issues at the minute. I'm hoping they don't get worse. Um, but as I said, I've had this over a year. So I was one of the first to to, to get the, the actual CSLDD. I was fortunate enough to be in the first tier that got to order it. Um, and obviously got it earlier than what we expected. So like I said, I've, I've had it a good while. But yeah, let's pretty much get into it. So first things first. And I only noticed this. A few months back um to do with the actual shaft that the the wheel goes on to um i'll put a video it'll be somewhere a little clip um of what it's doing and i said you can clearly see that the shaft itself isn't centered it's it, it's you can see it's wonky basically it moves and it's yeah it's it's there's a little bit of sort of up and down movement or whatever to make it definitely it's not turning in the center now as i says i don't know how long i've ha had this um issue i haven't felt anything different when i'm racing obviously i do a lot of racing obviously with my streams and stuff i'm, I'm nearly not every day but yeah near enough say every other day on an average say over a span of of the life that i've i've had this wheel um but as i said it, in my mind i haven't felt any different when driving so yes i'm a little bit worried i've done a few searches on the internet and youtube and stuff and i found a few people that have got the same issue and they're saying it's actually inside the wheelbase itself it's not actually the shaft it's something you know what i mean whether it, something that your shaft attaches to maybe it's just sort of out of line or, or something i don't know um but yeah as i said it's not bothered me obviously i will keep tabs on it and if it does get worse then or i start to feel it in the wheel then obviously yeah, i'll be straight emailing fanatec and, and finding out what we can do or, or if it's an issue or whatever but as we stand at the minute it's been fine so i'm not going to bother with it uh the next issue I've had, which again, these are issues that are very few and far between. They're not on a regular recurrence. Um, they're a bit, like I said, a bit like the uh, the ACC console dashboarding issue. It's it's sort of few and far between. We don't exactly know what causes it. We're not getting it on a regular basis. So yeah, it's a bit like that. So again, it hasn't bothered me as such. It's not not sort of yeah game breaking. Um, I not sure if i've ever had the first issue while racing i don't think i have um competitively anyway and it's the power button obviously it lights up 
Red is PC mode. Yellow, like a yellowy color, is the compatibility mode, which is compatibility to the Club Sport V2.5. And then green is Xbox. Now, what happens is it it goes from mainly when I'm on the Xbox, because as I said, I race on Xbox a lot more than I do on PC at the minute. Um, it just goes from green to red. And it, it just, it's almost like the, the wheelbase shuts off. It stops working. But when you go to sort of keep your finger on the power button, it doesn't do anything. It just stays red. So you literally or physically have to go around the back of the wheelbase and pull the actual power connector out to sort of reset the wheel and then put it back in and then it starts working again. But as I said, it's not all the time. I've probably only had it, like I said, count it on my one hand. So five times, if that. So again, it's not game breaking for me, game changing. It's never bothered me. Um, another one, which again, has been very few and far between, but it actually happened a few days ago, maybe a week ago. Um, I think it was at Watkins Glen and... All of a sudden, I turned the wheel, I think, to the left, and I'd got a clonk, and then it was almost like I lost force feedback just to the left, which was very strange. Um, and, and yeah, obviously I couldn't drive, so then yeah, I think we well, I've exited the game, pulled in the pits or whatever. Uh, but again, turning the, the, the button off, turning it back on, sorted the issue out. But again, again, I've not had that multiple times over a, a year and a, a few months. It's been very few and far between so again it isn't game changing for me so i didn't feel that i'd contact fanatec um and, and sort of asked him about it so another issue um is i get a slight clunk now i'm not 100 percent sure if it starts because obviously i'm streaming most of the time when i'm racing i've got my headphones on i can't actually hear it i don't feel the clunk uh but it is there it's not a sort of real loud heavy clonk it's just like yeah it's not too bad it's you probably hear it as i said when i've watched my streams back and then i've heard it and i think that's quite a strange sound why is it yeah so it's like everyone now who watch me stream they'll be like listening out for the clonk but yeah it, it's it, again it's not game changing because it's not affecting the wheel i'm not really feeling it through the wheel when i'm racing but it is there now whether it's an issue an issue i don't don't know whether it's going to get worse. I don't know. But again, it's not game breaking for me, game changing. That Yeah, I, I'm going to go, right, I've got to email Fanatec. It's an issue. I want a new one, whatever. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's not been that at all. So as I said, it's, to me, it's only minor issues. Um, fingers crossed. Like I said, touch wood. It, it, it doesn't get any worse or any of these get any worse. That I, I have to then we'll go through the procedure with Fanatec. Uh, but in a nutshell, like I said, that's the main issues as, as such. Um, on, on like I said, the flip side of that, the the, the, the positives are I upgraded from um, the Club Sport V2.5, which at the time was the best belt-driven wheel on the market. Um, and yeah, night and day, to be fair, going from that to a, a, um, a direct drive was just, yeah, the difference. Even, even I mean, I run the 8 newton meter and... I know people were saying, oh, well, it's only eight newton meter, it's not going to be enough. But all the reviews that the big, bigger YouTubers did and everything else when they got, got sent the uh, review samples and stuff, even said that, yeah, five newton meters is nice, but you get a lot more fidelity, you get a lot more road feel, you get a lot more with just running the eight newton meter. And it didn't mean sort of like, yeah, cranking the force feedback up. It wasn't that at all. It was just enough. There was more power in there, I think, to, to translate to, yeah, a lot more road feel and everything else in the sim titles that people play. So, like I says, I'm happy with it. I'm, yeah, for the length of time I've had it, it's still going. Yes, there's a few little issues, uh, but like I says, they're not game-breaking, game-changing for me. Um, so, yeah, as I says, just hope that they don't get any worse if they're going to, if they are sort of issue that, are, yeah, it's going to progress. But as I says, in a nutshell, I'm happy having it for over a year, year and a few months, um, very happy. Obviously, while we're on the sort of subject of, of a sort of review of such, I do run this with it um v2 v2 not 2.5 the v2 formula v2 i think it's called um and i've had this probably close to two years if not over two years i had this when i ordered my um clubs club sport v2.5 so i've had it longer than the actual csl dd um i run it with obviously it's got the quick release 
Um, I run it with a quick release, but I do run the pin. That pin, the uh, the silver pin, if you can see it. And I solely run that because I'd seen reviews and there was a slight bit of flex without running it. Not massive, but obviously in time, that flex is, is I reckon, is going to translate into an issue. So I run it with the pin. Um, and like I said, I've, I've never felt the need to not run it. But then again, I only run this wheel. I've only got one wheel. I'd love to have sort of multiple wheels that I can change over. And, and to be fair, if I did, then I'd probably not run the pin just for ease of changing them over on the quick release. At the end of the day, why have a quick release when it's not a quick release anymore? Because you've got to go to your toolbox. You've got to get your, your Allen key. You've got to then undo it. You've got to then mess about. So while I'm running one wheel, I will run it. It's a no brainer because I'm not going to be changing it. Um, but if I do in time get another wheel, then yeah, I, I would do. Um, no major issues with this. Um, I've had a little issue, which could be an issue. I know someone, a friend of mine, who's got the same, and it, it translated into a major issue that he's had to contact Fanatec and they've they've sorted him out. Um, is downshift, but thinking about it with me, I've got the the feeling it's because of the vibrations through my wheelbase, because it only seems to be doing it on Watkins Glen when you go into the bus stop and I'm rumbling over the the, the big curbs. And I'm changing down and I'm changing down once. It's changing down twice, which obviously isn't good because it then like, yeah, blows the engine pretty much or makes it yellow or red or, or yeah, messes the car up. So, but like I said, thinking about it, I've only really had it there. So it could be that the, the feedback I'm getting through the wheelbase, the vibrations, and it's, it's vibing the actual wheel itself to then just, yeah, double shift, which obviously I'm not doing, but yeah, it's doing it. So hopefully it's just that at Watkins Glen. Uh, doesn't mean I'm not going to drive Watkins Glen because I like Watkins Glen. But yeah, it's it's something, again, I'll keep an eye on. Like with the wheelbase, I'll keep a close eye on it. Um, and obviously, if it does get worse, then yeah, we'll have to go through Fanatec. But yeah, another note with the wheel, as you can see, you've got the caps. Um, they do come off. Obviously, I'm missing one there because when I took it off the base this morning, it literally fell to pieces. It was in two bits. I'm actually looking at it now on the floor. Um, they're, they're good. I mean, fair play to Fanatec. They do send you out a pack of extra caps um, that have got like different symbols on you. I mean, I'm pretty much running the same ones that it come with. Obviously, it's it's Xbox. So you've got the, the Xbox button. You can clearly see the X, the Y, um, the A, I think that is. I've got to look, can't see. But yeah, so, but yeah, they do send you extra caps. I think 20 or 24 in a nice little packet. Um, to replace, which which then is spot on at the end of the day, so you can just replace them. But I do think in time, obviously, I said I probably had this close to two years. So I think in time they are obviously wearing out and they are just snapping. They might be quite thin anyway. I'd say they probably are, and they just snap and fall off. So, but like I said, nice touch with the replacements. You can just replace them. Not sure, in, obviously, if if Fanatec just sell the caps, they might do. I think they sell stickers as well. I, I can't remember to be fair, but yeah. If they do, then great. You can just replace them anyway. But yeah, as far as a little sort of like another gripe, that's it really. There's never been any major issues with my wheel. I love it to bits. Um, I do wear gloves. That's probably why the, the sides are still in good condition. If you try and see. Uh, yeah, it, it just I just didn't want the, the sides getting worn out. Some of the wheels I've had, that are, especially the Fastmaster, that I've not used gloves, that they've worn out. Um, or they've gone all so horrible and smelly and sweaty because your hands have been sweaty when you've been racing. So I just, I said, when I, when I first originally got this, I'd upgraded from the Thrustmaster wheels. It was the Thrustmaster like formula wheel. Um, and yeah, I mean, I got this out of the box and the construction of it is just next level compared to Thrustmaster. Thrustmaster wheels, it's like carbon fiber, metal. It, it's just, yeah, just looked and felt so much more premium it was just unbelievable so i just didn't want to ruin it because yes they are expensive um i'm not going to lie for for sort of playing games in essence a hobby uh but yeah as i said it's 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 served me well and it's still going so i haven't got an issue uh but yeah on on that so yeah but on that note like i says it was just a sort of quick follow-up as i says because i've i've 
yeah, had this bad boy a while. It is a heavy unit. I says it's, it's I haven't taken it off my rig for quite a while. I have to probably struggle putting it back on my rig now with the uh, where are they? These uh, these things that slot slot into the bottom. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll get there. We'll get it back on the rig. Uh, but as I said, I hope you found it informative, um, especially for the guys that are actually looking to purchase one at the minute, upgrade. I know obviously now there's the uh, the Moser. I've got a, a sort of cheaper um, direct drive in the same sort of league as, as the CSLDD. You've got the Thrustmaster have just introduced theirs. I don't think it's out yet. And the Logitech have, have introduced theirs. Again, I don't think it's out yet. Um, so there is a good variety. Uh, but as I said, I, I'm glad I upgraded to this. I really am. I, I, I yeah, don't look back on, on the, 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 the Club Sport V2.5, even though it was a good wheel. It was a very nice wheelbase. Um, this, this is just a step up, as I said. So like I said, just thought I'd make it for the guys that are looking to upgrade. Um, hopefully you can get older one. Hopefully they're back in stock if now or if not soon. Um, as I always say, love to hear people that have actually got them in the description box below. Let me know if you've got the sort of similar issues, same issues or different issues. Because as, as I said, we're, we're all a community at the end of the day. And we're all, I mean, I like to help each each person out because we all have got the same passion for sim racing. Um, so it's always good to sort of, yeah, keep everything sort of in the same place that we can all just peruse through and just, oh, that person's got issues. Oh, he's got the same issue as me, blah, blah, blah. Has it got worse? Has it not? And, and, and yeah, it'll put your mind at ease, so to speak. Uh, but as I said, yeah. So like I said, slap a comment down below. Um, as I always say, smash that like button. It helps apparently with putting the video out there. <laughs> which always helps me and yeah, on the, on the sort of flip side of that if you haven't subscribed if you like the video i mean i would really really appreciate it if you'd uh, smash the subscribe button as well um we are trying to hit a thousand subs we are getting there we're over halfway so sort of not well over halfway but we, we're we're cruising along at a good pace uh but yeah as i always say guys yeah thank you so much for tuning in thank you if you liked the video and found it informative um, and yeah, I'll catch you on the next live stream.